In this video, I'm going to tell you about the relative security of different networks like Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we're going to compare hash rates and what makes something really, really secure, plus show you a tool that you can use for this comparison. Stay tuned. Here it comes. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Hit that subscribe button and slam the bell icon so you're notified when new media like this comes out. This is a quick video, and I promise it'll be worth your time. I'm on a website called howmanycomps.com. It's pretty cool, and it's written by uh, or made, created by Luke Childs, who is a full-time open source developer, been working for several years as a full-time open source developer, and respect the heck out of the work that he's done. Let me jump fully out of the way here and just, just show you exactly what this website is. Here we go. The full screen view, you can see all of that. But how many confirmations are equivalent to six Bitcoin confirmations? So essentially, the full hour that people normally wait to see that a Bitcoin confirmation or transaction is locked onto the network, that the block that was written is definitely confirmed. Now, in Bitcoin terms, that's 10 minutes times six confirmations. That's about an hour, right? Sent Wait, wait a second. Yep. So six times 10. There you go. I had to make sure the math was right. It's like, no, obviously that's basic math. It's very early where I am though. But six confirmations by 10 minutes, one hour. And as far as getting the amount of hash rate, see the, the full hash rate equivalence of that time that's elapsed versus the full hash rate equivalence of other networks. Um, he's comparing apples to apples, right? So the petahashes of one network versus the terahashes of another network and and what is considered yeah uh, an, an equivalent number of full hashes in terms of hash rate here's why i agree with this argument that luke childs is basically doing between the lines it's an argument that that basically states that because of the hash rate dominance of bitcoin that nothing is more secure than bitcoin i mean that's essentially what we're seeing right here right you got petahashes of hash rate over on Bitcoin. And within Ethereum, you've got Terra hashes. Same with Litecoin, same with Dogecoin. And then in Monero, you've got Giga hashes worth of hash rate. Ethereum Classic also is in the Terra hash level. So it's uh, it's pretty close actually between those two. And he is trying to do, I think, a, a pretty close to apples to apples comparison. So I totally agree with his reasons for doing this, but I do disagree with the way that it's laid out. I don't think it necessarily follows that because Bitcoin has more ASICs hashing on it, that it makes it fundamentally more secure than some of the other networks. And here's why I disagree. I disagree because mining pools have re-centralized a lot of that hash rate. If there were some kind of a function that allowed us to see the various different pools, and then of course, the solo mining efforts of different miners and how that affects the network security as well for those confirmations, well, I think that would be helpful too. It's probably outside of what of what Luke Childs wants to do for this website. It's probably outside of the scope of what he, how much work he's willing to put into it at this point. And at this point, it's kind of a simple aggregator too. So I totally applaud him for making this and making it as robust a tool as it already is. It's pretty darn cool. But if you look at the difference, right? If you sort by the difference, it shows you that Ethereum, in terms of getting all of the amount of confirmations and with the amount of hash rate that's required to lock in a transaction on Bitcoin that it it takes three times as much, right? It's three times slower, he, he alleges. I don't know if that's totally true, right? As far as ensuring that the network is totally secure, right? I think most people would agree that being able to 51% attack the Ethereum network, like a genuine 51% attack on the Ethereum network, that it being able to keep that up for two and a half hours would be very, very costly. Now, it might be good to have, again, a, a centralization score on these, and it might be good also to see a US dollar value on these. And if we did that, I think we would still see that Bitcoin does win as far as the amount of hash rate and the cost to attack this network. But I don't think that it would play out exactly the way that Luke has this laid out here, right? With, uh, with something being 13 times slower, so to speak, or three times slower, so to speak. I don't think that these are, uh, in strictest terms, the best way to frame 
the efficacy of a blockchain or the efficiency of a blockchain. But I do agree that, yes, Bitcoin is absolutely the strongest hash rate of any blockchain out there. It is the king daddy of proof of work. And I think that tools like this do kind of help to demonstrate that in a meaningful and useful way. So kudos to Luke Childs for making this website. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a phenomenal website. You know, there, it's always easy to, to nitpick when somebody else has made something like this and say, oh, it could be better. So I don't mean to be that guy. Um, I really like it. And you can see, of course, the link down in the description of this video to this tool. You tell me, though, do you think it's perfect the way it is? Do you think that there's something that maybe could or should be added to this by Luke? What do you think that would do if it were changed? As always, I'm really excited to see your comments. Please do comment, guys. We're still in the middle of an NFT giveaway, so check out that video over here in the corner uh, or in the notifications before you click to anywhere else, guys. If you're not subscribed, of course, please do be subscribed. Please remember, this helps the algorithm know that this content is useful to you. But tell me, most off, or <laughs> of course, like above all else, please tell me down in the comments section what you think of this tool. I think it's cool, but what do you think? Is it useful? Should I show you more tools like this in the future? Would you like me to do a little series of stuff like this that us as miners can use to kind of make more educated decisions? I'd love to get your take on it, guys. Thank you for watching to the end. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face. Please remember to stay private and mind your biz. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you want to be notified of videos like this in the future, first off, click subscribe, press the bell icon. Additionally, you can sign up for the Mind Your Biz email newsletter. That'll give you exclusive access to certain freebies, notifications for deals within the cryptocurrency mining space, as well as some of our flash sales for merchandise, which you can buy with cryptocurrency. That's right. It's the only cryptocurrency merch that you can buy with cryptocurrency. We practice what we preach. As always, thank you so much for watching. You're the reason I make this media. I love your face, and I will see you in the next one.